wide open for a moment was Frank Hickerson, but double coverage as Maynard goes back. It looks like Calderon Williams, so not anything deep open for Oakland right now, Tommy. No, there's nothing deep, and uh, we, in fact, the pass was out of bounds. There was no way to catch that ball inbounds. Boy, it would seem like you need to do a catch and run here, but they're bit determined they're going to throw a 50-yard pass in the air. Oakland, one out of 12 passing in the second half wow. for a negative one yard. Terry Stafford, our man with the numbers all over that, a negative one, one out of 12 passing for the Patriots. Wow. 2.22 to go. Burnett back under center. Three wideouts to the right and flags immediately. Could be a false start. Delay a game. Something on the offense of the five-yard variety. So instead of second and 10 from the 15, it looks like it's going to be second and 15 from the 10. Did you catch that? <laughs> and, and, and look at Bobby Brown. He is still coaching up this football team. Two minutes, 21 seconds to go. He's making sure his young men are in the right place, know what to look for. Impressive tonight, though, Tommy. They've had a lot of adversity this week and have overcome it and looked relatively good tonight, leading 18 to 7 with 2.21 to go. But I'm like you, I can't breathe a sigh of relief yet. Second and 15 from their own 10. Oakland will put it in play. Burnett under center. Poke works out to the right. Three wideouts to the right, one back in the backfield. Burnett flushed out of the pocket, rolls around to his seven. He's going to throw it down here. Maynard got a couple of hands on it, but it was out of bounds as he had P.J. Polk running down the sideline here on the near side. Matthew Maynard in coverage. Extra safety in the game for the Blue Devils. They've gone to the nickel package with extra defensive backs. And listen to that band. They're, they're fired up. Hey, folks, we're, we're two minutes and 12 seconds from being back in the playoffs. So set it down at the 10. Oakland running out of time and running out of downs. 2.12 to go, trailing 18 to 7. They'll put it in play from their own 10. Third and 15. Burnett back under center. Somebody needs the lone back is Polk. He picks up the blitz, and Burnett, for some crazy reason, goes into the end zone. So Coy Reese brings him down. There's your two-point conversion we just missed. That'll run it 20 to 7 with the safety credited to Sequoy Reeves as Burnett drifted to the end zone. Wow. Bob, nice little bit of icing on the cake there as Reeves tracks him down for the deuce. Tommy, it is. It's just, uh, it's just fitting the way they've come out and played in this second half, especially. You go down seven to nothing early. Oakland came into this ball game tonight, Tommy. They came in with a lot of attitude. Before the game started, their whole team for Oakland ran out to the center of the field, stick a big flag right into the in the center of the field, and start jumping all over the uh, Blue Devil logo up there and pointing and taunting the Lebanon, Lebanon team on the sideline. <laughs> They've done a little talking during the game, too, but, uh, you know, they're kind of quiet right now, Tommy. <laughs> big talk big talk for a team that came in here on a two-game losing streak, then the open date, and uh, Lebanon looks like they've handed it to them tonight. 2.07 to go. The Patriots will attempt the free kick from their own 20. In punt formation will be Burnett. Boy, and a high kick straight up in the air. It's going to be fair caught just inside midfield on the Lebanon side. So great play by Walton. Was it Walton or Tribble? Is Walton? Tribble. Tribble. Tribble caught that one. So Lebanon takes over with 2.07 to go, leading 20 to 7. Oakland out of timeouts, first and 10 for Lebanon at their own 48. Now, this one's going to be sweet. Oakland beat Lebanon last year 23 20. Lebanon takes a measure of revenge tonight. And they, they got it done against a pretty good Oakland defense here in the second half. So Salas under center, two wide outs, out formation, gains your deep back, bent for the up back. Spins, hands to Gaines, works out here to the right side, spin move, good little spin move, bought him an extra four yards as he'll work it inside Oakland territory and basically squeeze his way down to about the 47, or they'll say his knee down at the 48, so second 
in about five and a half with 144 and the clock continues to roll. Keep everybody in bounds. Keep them in bounds, boys, and just run that clock. And clock management well, in the late stages of a football game, one of Bobby Brown's specialties, he's got that stopwatch in his pocket, and he will hold Daly Salas at the line of scrimmage until he sees the, the back judge start giving it the count for five seconds. He's just going to wait. Here we go, and now he gets the snap. Salas hands to Gaines. Gaines spins again, but he's met right there and brought down on a great effort as McGowan continues to fight from that defensive linebacker position and Gaines works for about a yard or basically no gain but at this point doesn't matter with the 59 seconds of counting in the ball game. Lebanon next week goes to Riverdale but the place we're going after week 10 is to the playoffs. Lebanon assures themselves of a berth in the postseason playoffs with this win tonight over Oakland. 39 and counting, third down and six from the Oakland 48. Salas under center, hands to Gaines, the deep back. When he's met right there, great defensive surge that time as Santini, I want to say this all night, Santini Southhaven <laughs> makes the stop at the 49, but it's all irrelevant now as the clock continues to roll. 15 and counting, Lebanon won't have to put it in play again. Your final score from Noakes Lassiter Field, 11 and 20, the Oakland Patriots, 7. We'll take a one, or we'll keep it right here. We'll keep it right here as Lebanon wins the game by a score of 20 to 7. And how sweet, how sweet it is. No. We keep it here. Get him on the phone and tell him to get it back because he'll get Bob here. Get him on the phone. Here he comes. Crap. Final score, 11 and 20, Oakland 7. And with this win, the Blue Devils move on to the playoffs. What about that playoff playoff Blue Devil team? Okay, just on what seed you are when you go in. And here comes Bobby Brown making his way over here to talk with Bob Lee. Chaffin TV and Appliance brings you these sideline reports. Bob Lee and Lebanon High head coach Bobby Brown. Take it away. Tommy, I am here with Coach Bobby Brown. Coach, tell you what, huge, huge win tonight puts us in the playoffs. It does. A great job. Uh, man, our, our, our boys hung in there and battled. We didn't play real good in the first half. Uh, but, they, you know, they hit us on the trick point. Play. We got the big kickoff return for a touchdown, and then in the second half we came out, created some turnovers, scored, and did what it took to, to win the football game. And gosh, it feels so great to be back in the playoffs. Well, I tell you, you I know you've had you've had the fall break for two weeks. That's got to be a distraction. You've had some other things that have happened through the week, but you go down seven to nothing at the first of the ball game, and it was huge the way that your team dug in and had the character to pull this thing out and right the ship. It, it was. Uh, you know, our defense played good all night long. Uh, you know, they got the little trick play for a touchdown, but uh, I tell you, our defense did a good job. Uh, we didn't do a great job blocking, but they have a heck of a defense. They have a good football team, and, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where it, it's a win, and it's a great win. It gets us back into the playoffs, and that's what we've been shooting for all year. Well, Tommy, I, I think Tommy told me that I think I heard him right on the radio. I think in the second half, Oakland was one of 14 passing for minus one yards, and that's that's got some that's some good coverage and that's some good rushing by your linemen too. It was, uh, you know, they were picking on Woods, our corner, with their big tall number seven in the first half, and and we knew that would happen when we have a mismatch in height like that, and uh, they hit some pass plays on us, and then in the second half he did a lot better job. We adjusted our coverage to to help him out a little bit, but uh, you know, ultimately our defensive front and getting that rush is what really helped us out the most. So they did a great job. Well, Coach, I know you're going to enjoy and savor this one tonight. I know uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and 
tell you who it was. Ken Walton and uh, Cody Tribble, they're the ones that doused you in the water. You couldn't see it. You were... I know. And I'm, I'm glad I brought a spare cl uh, <laughs> some clothes tonight. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get cold and wet for five minutes and go in change. But uh, for this win, anything, I, I'd do anything. And our guys just battled. It was a great football game tonight. Well, Coach, enjoy this one tonight because you got Riverdale next week. They uh, A little early score. Riverdale came out on top tonight, 49 to nothing. Well, that's, that's good. So I'm just glad we won so, tonight. That's right. We'll that's, get on them in about two hours. That's what matters. <laughs> All right, Tommy, back to you. Coach, congratulations. All right, thank you. Thanks, Bob. Bob Lee and Bobby Brown, post-game post show. Sideline reports and the post-game brought to you by Chaffin TV and Appliance 1005 West Main Street, home of high-definition television right here in Lebanon, Tennessee. We'll send it back to the station for two minutes. Two minutes, and we'll be back with our closing stats. Lebanon defeats Oakland tonight by a score of 20-7. to 7. 